Hi guys, today I want to try some microphones on my new uh, Anytone Quad 6 radio. Now I know almost everybody says just leave the stock mic on it, they what, they're what sounds the best. Uh, but I want to know, I need to find out for myself. So while I do some testing to see if any of these other microphones can sound better than that stock mic, I thought I'd bring you along and... Uh, let you uh, join in on the uh, experimenting and you can uh, put your comments in down below as to which one you think sounds the best. Uh, some of these are kind of dusty. I haven't used them in a while and I don't know where my dust rag went. So we're just going to deal with that little bit of dust that's on them. You can see that. You probably can't, but I can. Uh, all right, we have a, a Cobra, a Dynamite Plus desk microphone. We also have a, a Cobra Dynamite Plus hand microphone. I have a feeling those two are going to sound about the same. Uh, they, they usually perform about the same on every radio I've tried them on. Uh, another thing to mention, too, is you're probably like I am in most of your microphones, a wired 4-pin Cobra. Uh, so I made up an adapter to uh, adapt a 4-pin Cobra to the 6-pin Anytone. Now, some of you are already thinking, well, you can't do that. You need the kind of adapter that has the resistors in it and the capacitors in it to cut back and remove that voltage. Well, yes, the Anytone does have voltage at the mic connector. It has 8 volts at the center pin, the center pin of the 6-pin connect, uh, connector. There's nothing connected to that center pin. Inside of here, the center pin is not connected. So as long as nothing ever touches that pin. For mine, what I did was I just removed it. I mean, this is going to be used for that radio all the time, so I removed the pin right out of the connector. So there's no longer 8 volts available at this connector. Um, just a regular, just wire it up, and it will work with that radio. Uh, some people have been trying to tell me that that has a, uh, an electric mic. It does not. The stock microphone is just a condenser mic. It's not a powered mic. It's just a regular condenser mic. So we're going to try a bunch of different microphones. These are, like the, like the name says, the Dynamic Plus. These two are dynamic microphones. Uh, this one is also a, a the Turner Super Sidekick. That's a dynamic microphone. The Turner Plus 3, I'm not positive, but I think that's a, uh, a crystal element in it. I'm not, not sh too sure on that one. Uh, this one here, this Cobra mic, is a, uh, a, a Cobra power mic with a 9-volt battery. This is a condenser microphone. And I have this Cobra mic, which is a power mic and echo mic. That one is also a condenser microphone. So I have a feeling that one of these two are probably going to sound best on that end tone. But we're going to give them all a try. Like I said, I have my adapter to be able to hook these up. There's one of them. <laughs> the Echo mic is going to have two adapters on it. Because I last had that one wired up to work with my Uniden Grant. I still I use that with my, my Uniden Grant. I put the echo on just barely on number one, uh, and it gives it a full sound. But it's wired five pin, so I have a five pin to four pin adapter, <laughs> which that will then plug into the adapter that goes from four pin to six pin. I, if I if this microphone ends up being the one that I use, I will just end up taking that five pin plug off it and putting a six pin. Or possibly a four-pin Cobra and just use the adapter. I don't really like to use adapters on a permanent basis. Uh, if I find a mic that I really like for the radio, I'd rather just wire that mic to work with the radio. Uh, for my Grant, I have plenty of microphones for the Grant uh, that all sound are as good or close to as good as this one does on it. So I'm not worried about losing the five-pin mic for that. I have a lot of microphones in my collection. But these are the ones I decided I want to try with the Quad 6. All right, let's get this started, and we'll test first with the stock microphone. I'll put the stock mic on it. Actually, I didn't even finish telling you all of them. That one's a, uh, a, this one's a Turner Plus 3. 
It's not the newer version. This is not the plus three B, uh, but it's not an issue with this radio because this radio does not need the microphone for receive. As you hear, it's receiving right now and there's no mic on it. Uh, some of the other radios, like I tried to use this on, oh, it may have been my Washington. I tried to use it with that radio and to use it with that one, the mic has to be modified. I just didn't want to do that. I wanted to leave it original. So I didn't, didn't make any changes to the microphone. If you see the black tape on there, that's because <laughs> I have a habit of picking the microphone up. I just can't stop myself. Even if I'm at the desk, I find myself picking it up and using the microphone. And when you hold a turner like this, both of them, there's a piece of tape on both of them. The lock switch would slide down on its own when you were transmitting. And it kept, I kept going, what the? <laughs> I have to push the switch back. So I just put a piece of tape. I don't ever lock the microphone into transmit. So that piece of tape stops the switch from sliding down and locking in the transmit position. All right, now that we've uh, talked about all the mics that we have here, let me get this connected to the radio and we'll do some testing. I have a camera set up on my other Anytone. It's uh, connected to, it's looking at, it's not connected to it. <laughs> the camera is looking at my other Anytone, my uh, Quad 5N, the first version of the Quad 5N. I have the RF gain turned all the way down on that radio, and that one is connected to a, a Yagi antenna, which I have pointed completely away from this antenna. Uh, hopefully, we're not going to overload that radio and not uh, be screaming loud on it, but I think we'll be all right. When I do this test, one more thing I forgot to mention. When I do it, I'm going to do it with all the mics turned all the way up. Because the limiter and everything is intact in this radio, so the radio should be able to cut it back. Again, this is just for testing purposes. If I end up using, say, this microphone, it most likely will get kicked way down, just so it doesn't pick up all the background noise in the room. Like right now, I have the, uh, the fan on that power supply. If on these here, on the turners, if they're turned all the way up, they'll hear that fan, and they'll... It'll go over the air, and I don't want that mixed into my audio. But again, this is just for testing. So we're going to have them all, all of them turned up all the way. The only one that's not is this one, because the power level on this one is not adjustable. The uh, knob is for echo on this one. So if we turn this one up, it's going to sound like total garbage. <laughs> it's going to be way too much echo. So this is the only one that we're going to leave it just on that number one position where I used it on my grant. All right, now let's get started on this test. Let's get a microphone connected to that radio and uh, do some broadcasting. I have the radios on channel 49, lower sideband. I know I'm going to get people that are asking me, why didn't you do this test on AM? I don't use AM. <laughs> I'm a sideband kind of guy. I'm a, a sideband operator. I'm on lower sideband and upper sideband, and I'm always above channel 36. Uh, so I don't use AM, which is why... None of my testing is ever, well, some of it is, but the majority of my testing is done on sideband because that's what I use. And again, this, this testing is more for me than it is you, but I'm taking you along for the ride and letting you also hear how all these mics sound on it. All right, enough rambling. Let me get the mic hooked up and we'll get the test underway. You notice that power supply is on up there. That power supply runs the amplifier. The amplifier I have on for this testing because, because when I'm talking on the radio, the box is on. I mean, come on, you know, if you've got an amp, it's on when you're talking. So I want to hear how it sounds going through the amplifier, not just coming out of the radio, but also going through the amp. And we'll get the, uh, a, a test of what I'm actually going to sound like on the air because there's, it's, it's hardly ever do I run without the amp. Uh, most of the locals that I talk to are all, I think the closest one is 625 Dave, and he's 15 miles away. The furthest one I talk to is uh, Larry, who is 75 miles away. So the box is always on. I mean, if somebody like Larry came on and I didn't have the box on, 
he would never know I was on the air. So I leave it on all the time. All right, with that being said, let's get to testing these. Like I said, I have the camera going on the other radio. We have the stock microphone. The microphone gain on the radio is turned all the way up. So we're going to test, and this is with the stock microphone. This is a stock Anytone microphone on the Anytone Quad 6. We're just doing a quick little test and uh, comparing microphones. We've got that camera going down there in the garage on the Yagi antenna, and uh, I'm broadcasting to it. All right, this was the stock microphone. I'm curious if anybody ends up coming back to me. Like I said, I'm on channel 49. And I never hear anybody on channel 49, but you never know. Somebody could come on. All right, we're going to put the stock microphone aside. Now, let's see. What do we have? We don't have anything. Well, we got the 5-pin connector on there. Let's do all the hand mics first. This is the one that has this wired for the 5-pin unit in. So we'll put all this together. <laughs> That's quite a contraption there. <laughs> We'll get that one hooked up. Make sure our echo level is only on number one. All right, this is the, the Cobra Power Slash Echo Mic on the, uh, the Anytone Quad 6. We're just testing out some microphones and seeing which one sounds the best on it. While I'm doing this, I'm watching the watt meter up there, and uh, this one's driving it a little bit more than the stock microphone did. All right, this is the Cobra Echo mic. Let's move on to the next one. All right, we're going to leave that adapter on there now because every other microphone here is all four pins. Let's put that one aside. Going to need a bigger desk. All right, well, this one's sitting right here. So this is a, uh, oh, I don't know when this one was made. Probably in the late 80s. It's a, a power mic with a 9-volt battery the LED light on it to tell you that the battery is good. All of these power mics except for that one all use 9 volt batteries. That one there has got the goofy uh, 7 volt battery. But this one here is the uh, the Cobra. I'm going to call this one the Cobra with the stiff mic cord because this cord is really stiff. Uh, when you try to stretch it it just kind of pulls everything. This is the, uh, the Amplified Cobra handheld microphone, the one with the stiff cord. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. All right, that was that microphone. Like I said, when I'm <laughs> going through the video footage, I will know that that's that one because of that cord. This cord is, is so stiff. If the radio, this one I have down with Velcro, uh, down to the desk. If you try to connect it to a mobile radio that's not fixed to the surface, this mic will pull the radio along for you. All right, that file over here is getting pretty big. All right, we'll do the last hand mic now. These are all, have always been my favorite hand mic. It's just, it's big, it's bulky, it fits good in my big hands. But I don't think this is going to sound that good on that radio. This is made more for like a unit in Grant, a Washington, a Cobra 2000. That's where these microphones really shine. These are a loud microphone, and on some radios, they're just too loud. Uh, when I had it, when I was using it on my Grant, I would have to keep it, oh, somewhere about number two. Anything more than that, and that, that radio would be overmodulated. All right, we got that turned all the way up. Let's connect it up to that radio over here if that plug will go together this is the square body the uh the cobra dynamite plus this is the the goofy one that takes a seven volt battery but oh it's keeping that amplifier pretty much at full strength most of the time i'm talking this is the uh, the square cobra the handheld power mic testing it out on the anytone quad six all right we got that one out of the way now I am very curious how this one's going to sound on that radio. I'm running one just like this on my Quad 5, and on the Quad 5, it sounds fantastic. Uh, I'm just not sure if it's going to sound, how it's going to sound on this. The, uh, the Quad 5 has had a little bit of uh, modifications done to it. This radio has not. This radio is all stock. 
All right, we're gonna leave the super sidekick for last. Let's move these over a little bit. I'm gonna try the the Cobra desk mic now. Ooh, that was a tight fit on that one. All right, we got the volume all the way up on the uh, the Cobra desk mic. This is a Dynamic Plus Cobra desk mic. And it's doing the same as that uh, Dynamic Plus hand did. It's uh, keeping that power output oh, pretty much full strength most of the time. I'm watching that watt meter up there and uh, just to see how well these mics are working uh, power wise. All right, this is the Cobra Dynamic Plus desk microphone. We're done with testing this one. Still, nobody is coming back to me. Channel 49 is always dead in my area. I don't know if anybody else has any traffic ever on that channel in their area but not here well i shouldn't say that we have some south america and spanish on am but nothing on nothing on sideband all right let's try the turner plus three i'm pretty sure this has a good battery in it i should actually probably check that first huh it's been a while since i actually used this microphone so let me just quickly do a voltage check on that battery. I'm gonna drop my glasses down so I can see what I'm doing. And let's see. We have 9.5 volts. I guess it hasn't been that long since I used it. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Get in there. All right. This is the Turner Plus 3. It's a uh, an old gray desk microphone. It's an all gray. Gray head, gray stem, gray body. Beautiful mic. I uh, love these old Turner Plus 3s. It's a, uh, a good microphone. It doesn't seem to be hitting the, uh, the radio as hard as the Dynamics did, but it's still doing really well. It's holding between, oh, 2 and 250. It's doing all right. All right, this was the uh, the Turner Plus 3. Let's move on. We have one more to try. <laughs> Sometimes there's a couple of my locals that'll float around on the channels. There's also one that has a, uh, a radio with the, uh, the waterfall on it so he can see when there's activity on other channels. And the other guys, they like to float around. So I'm just wondering if anybody's going to end up finding me doing this testing on this. <laughs> it would be nice if somebody came back to me and told me, but we're going to hear them for ourselves in a few minutes. All right, we're all the way up. This is on the, uh, the Turner Super Sidekick. This has always been one of my favorite microphones. I love the black body and the chrome head on it. This one's got a few nicks in the black, but hey, it's still in pretty good shape. It's an old timer, but it works pretty damn well. And you can see on that camera over there what I was talking about, about picking the microphone up. I just can't stop myself. <laughs> it ends up in my hands almost every time. And with that piece of tape there, that lock switch won't fall down. All right, this is the Turner Super Sidekick on the Anytone Quad 6. Let's go see how these things sounded. That's the last mic to test. Stock Anytone microphone on the Anytone Quad 6. We're just doing a quick little test and uh, comparing microphones. Got that camera going down there in the garage on the Yagi antenna, and uh, I'm broadcasting to it. All right, this was the stock microphone. All right, this is the, the Cobra Power Slash Echo mic on the, uh, the Anytone Quad 6. We're just testing out some microphones and seeing which one sounds the best on it. While I'm doing this, I'm watching the watt meter up there, and uh, this one's driving it a little bit more than the stock microphone did. All right, this is the Cobra Echo mic. Let's move on to the next one. But this one here is the, uh, the Cobra. I'm going to call this one the Cobra with the stiff mic cord, because this cord is really stiff. Uh, when you try to stretch it, it just kind of pulls everything. But this is the, uh, the amplified Cobra handheld microphone, the one with the stiff cord. All right, we're going to move on to the next one. This is the square body, the, uh, the Cobra Dynamic Plus. This is the, the goofy one that takes a 7-volt battery, but oh, it's keeping that amplifier pretty much 
at full strength most of the time I'm talking. This is the, uh, the square cobra, the handheld power mic. Testing it out on the Anytone Quad 6. We got the volume all the way up on the, uh, the cobra desk mic. This is a Dynamic Plus cobra desk mic. And it's doing the same as that uh, Dynamic Plus hand did. It's uh, keeping that power output oh, pretty much full strength most of the time. I'm watching that watt meter up there and uh, just to see how well these mics are working uh, power-wise. All right, this is the Cobra Dynamic Plus desk microphone. We're done with testing this one. This is the Turner Plus 3. It's a, uh, an old gray desk microphone. It's an all gray, gray head, gray stem, gray body. Beautiful mic. I uh, love these old Turner Plus 3s. It's a uh, good microphone. It doesn't seem to be hitting the, uh, the radio as hard as the Dynamics did, but it's still doing really well. It's holding between, oh, 2 and 250. It's doing all right. All right, this was the, uh, the Turner Plus 3. Let's move on. We have one more to try. This is on the, uh, the Turner Super Sidekick. This has always been one of my favorite microphones. I love the black body and the chrome head on it. This one's got a few nicks in the black, but hey, it's still in pretty good shape. It's an old timer, but it works pretty damn well. And you can see on that camera over there what I was talking about, about picking the microphone up. I just can't stop myself. <laughs> it ends up in my hands almost every time. And with that piece of tape there, that lock switch won't fall down. All right, this is the Turner Super Sidekick on the Anytone Quad 6. Let's go see how these things sounded. That's the last mic to test. Well, my favorite was the, the Turner, the Super Sidekick. Uh, that one, I think, had the best audio. It had... It was as clean as the stock microphone, but it had a better quality sound to it. Uh, now, remember, I had the um, the volume on the mics turned all the way up on all of them. So, even the stock microphone was a little too loud. Uh, so, remember that that's going to get knocked back a little bit. So, it'll get rid of all those, uh, the hissing that was in, in the background in a lot of them. I think the two best sounding where the stock microphone was second place and the Super Sidekick came in first. Uh, the Super Sidekick, like I said, it just it had a, a better quality sound to it than the stock mic did. So, in the comments, tell me which one was your favorite. I put it all together in... Uh, I was going to separate the whole thing, and after I spoke in the house, I was going to put the clip of that right at the end of that. After each mic test, its results. Uh, but instead, I decided to put them all together. That way, you, it's easier for you to skip back and forth if you want to, to uh, compare the different mics. And tell me in the comments which one you think sounded the best. Like I said, I think the Turner did it uh, the best on that radio. All right, guys. I thank you for watching. Let me know in the comments what you thought. All right. I'll see you next time. Yep, I just tested out, oh, I don't know, six or seven microphones. Did I get a what now? No, negative. I have a, uh, I have two base stations here at my property, one in my garage and one in my house. And I'm in my house, and I have a camera going down on the base that's in my garage with the RF gain turned all the way down, so I can go listen to the recording to hear how it sounded. I'm sorry, where are you at? Did you say British Columbia? That's up in Canada, right? <laughs> Copy that. I'm not uh, real up on my geography, so I do the best I can, and uh, I guess I guessed right that time. Hey, <laughs> British Columbia, how does this one sound? I'm on a uh, an old Turner Super Sidekick on a uh, an Anytone Quad 6. Copy that. Thank you very much. By the way, who do we have up there in British Columbia? Hey, you've got uh, World Radio 095, and the first one you have uh, right now, Tango Tango. 
Copy that, Matt. Say, so nice to meet you, Matt. And uh, hey, thanks for jumping in on the channel. I really appreciate that. I don't know if you're familiar with the uh, the Mower Junkie YouTube channel. That's uh, pretty much all about CB radios. Uh, I am Mower Junkie, and uh, I'm I'm going to be making a video. I'm in the middle of making that video. And uh, if you'd like, I can include you into it at the end. Uh, this little cue so we're having would work fantastic on the video. Yeah, copy that. I'll agree with you. Yeah, 38 has just, uh, it's become a total zoo. And uh, yeah, I, I go on there at night and early in the morning. But during the day, uh, lately, I've just been staying clear of it. And I've been uh, up above channel 40. Uh, it's just nicer people up here, uh, clearer channels, and uh, a lot less of the, uh, the stupidity that goes on on 38. It's a lot more enjoyable to be up here. Up here, I get to talk to people like you, and uh, this is uh, this is much more pleasurable than uh, trying to talk over music and noise toys. Stop losing. Awesome. Yeah. Matt, I don't know if you're still on the key or not, but I think I've lost you. Uh, I can't pull you out of there anymore. I have uh, some noise coming in from the uh, the AM side of things, and uh, it's kind of covering you up now. Matt, it was so good to talk to you. Thank you so much, and uh, hey, I hope you have a, a great day. Matt, you got uh, 151 Moa Junkie down here in South Carolina. It was fantastic talking to you. 73s.